I did my service in the army I uh, and I still uh, do occasionally. So some of the things I'm more familiar. There's 90% of civilians in Gaza and maybe 50% of this are children and women. I do have some, some uh, criticism for Hamas warriors which hide in, in civilian homes. This is the militia. I, okay. Okay. As a legal state, you must use and you must act legally. You must... Yeah. We agree. We, we agree, agree the same Hamas side. Hamas uh, acted wrong to hide in a civilian home. We agree... Uh, That's Israel. Israeli but, army uh, uh, halted uh, a lot of civilians. Yes. So this conversation is... Uh, And go the other way around from Rahel checkpoint. Mahmoud, Mahmoud what's with that? She's she's asking because of what? Because of what? Because we are Palestinians and they are the occupiers. Okay. What happened to me, in Jerusalem? Because I like football very much, so <laughs> I took the example from football. Uh, as if I'm the, the striker and I'm going to the goal and there is no one in front of me, just the goal empty and all of a sudden someone comes from the back and tackles me and I just fell down. I know the responsibility of the Israelis and know um, also the fears and uh, understanding that need, the needs of the Israeli, from the Israeli parts. Was mich sehr berührt hat, das war relativ zu Anfang, als ich mitgekriegt habe, dass manche Palästinenser das erste Mal und andersrum das erste Mal in ihrem Leben mit einem Israeli in Kontakt kommen. Wie soll so ein Konflikt gelöst werden, wenn die Menschen überhaupt nicht miteinander in Kontakt kommen? Das macht einen vielleicht auch ein Stück Erwachsener vielleicht, ein Stück gefestigter vielleicht, glaube ich auch. Also ich glaube ich auch, man, also ich zumindest viel über mich lerne hier. Auch zu wissen, was ganz tiefer Schmerz ist zu sehen, dass Menschen es irgendwie schaffen, am Leben zu bleiben und trotzdem äh, Lebensfreude zu bewahren. Das ist was, was mich auch sehr beeindruckt hat während der Zeit hier. We didn't decide of anything. We just everyone took a, a, piece, of a piece of the clay and start to do whatever he wants. Did on it so quickly, as if we are planning for it from a long time ago. I encourage FAB to add these activities to the schedule because they are really important. They, they get us closer to each other. It's hard to forgive the other side, but it's possible. It's possible to forgive, but uh, the hard thing is to forget. You do feel that uh, there is a change in your heart? Yes. It is clear those who consider themselves only as victims have no capability left for peace, while the others are the perpetrators. When Willy Brandt went down on his knees before a memorial of the victims of the Warsaw Ghetto, <coughs> this brought the whole German guilt into the consciousness of the German people at all levels. It was my first time in the museum and uh, the most impressive picture that I saw was the film about the ghetto of Warsaw. The children who were dying in the streets because of starvation and diseases and uh, it's, uh, it's really unbelievable. When I saw the picture, the photograph with Haidam of Janusz Korczak, I think he is an example for all over the world what is humanity? And I feel in one moment, because Haydn told me that he's a social worker, something similar and something uh, happened between us for, for one moment. In Israel, people still have the fear that you know, Arabs want to kick us out. When the state of Israel was established in 1948, and every year you celebrate your independence, that uh, is the Nakba for us. Um, but the Palestinians kept their, their own glasses on, um, so they couldn't really see 
what happened there. Uh, David is judging the feelings of other people. How can you judge no, no, no. how other people feel? Stop. Stop. What kind of thing that you, that you saw that somebody on the Palestinians is, is saying or doing made you feel this way? Or, or was it just in your head? He wants to respond to... Fifar Shaseh. Fifar Shaseh. Ma bain ana akun aish halla kouni dahiye wa yumaras alayy al-dagh wal-harb wal-istitan wal-tankil wal-hadim wal-qatil halla ana aish fi baid ma atla' min hoon bidi anzal a silwan mahal ma banam bidi asma' taakh wa bidi a'raf anu jori inhabas wa bidi a'raf قبل بيومين بأنه سامر استشهد وبتعرف بأنه دار أخوي قبل بسنة انهدت وما بين قبل سبعين سنة بتحكي عن إشي صار What's happened in this toy villages it's not new for me I read a lot I hear a lot and I knew that but it's for me it, it was the first time that I saw, I saw uh, destroyed villages with Palestinians. Many Israelis don't know the word Nakba. They don't know the meaning of the Nakba. In the memory, in the reality, in every day's life to every Palestinian family. Part of the, of the places here are kept by the Israelis as how people used to live in the ancient times. Maybe some of them do realize that the, between those ancient times and today, there's quite a lot of people that live there. And all the sign for the tourists doesn't say anything about this village. This is a mosque, but it has been turned into a house. And Israelis now live in the house. In this house? Yes, the most people live in it. This is the minaret. It's their house now. It wasn't easy to see it. Although I know those kind of things are happening. I think about this crazy man all these four days. What they are doing, it's a it's a collective voice without filters. But still, still, uh, I believe that uh, the only way forward is uh, through dialogue, through uh, meetings, uh, through reasonable understanding of uh, the other's uh, fears and worries. And uh, uh, this is the only way forward. Let's continue. <laughs> Like <laughs> 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 <laughs>